we are very different. That's all I need to know. Thank you. I don't no, have no, time. no, 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 Shad. Please, let me talk. Oh, you have good night. No, but we can be friends. You don't want to be my friend. <laughs> You know, I'm 40 years old. I ain't got time for that bull. You don't want to date him, you don't want to let him go. Like, I honestly believe as a man, if a woman says she's not interested, just go. No need for you to hang around being her friend or being stuck in the friend zone. Just move on. I've decided to move into another direction. That's how you feel, I gotta respect it. And that's all you have to say. If that's how I feel. Boys, there is nothing better than a woman saying to you, hey, we're done. I don't feel like you're doing this and this. And you just say, okay, that's how you feel. Bro, mic drop. Because a lot of the times what women do, they give you the fear of abandonment with hopes that you get on your knees and you beg and you plead. And when you don't, oh my God. Congratulations, you played yourself. I really don't understand if the woman wanted him to like beg or cry for her to like take him back because you say you are not interested in the relationship anymore it's done like bye see you in the next life because there's no need for you to stress it before a woman would tell you she's not interested she really might be seeing someone else so like okay like see you in the next life there's not a guy friend that exists that doesn't want to sleep with a woman if it were the case then why don't guys have fat girl friends they generally don't you don't see do you have you know a guy that has a friend that's a girl so he's i don't and if the opportunity was presented to that man he would sleep with her a thousand percent of the time guys play friend zone game all the time i ain't never seen a man that i fucking need bitch. you're all replaceable don't ever get too comfortable and don't ever think otherwise you're a guest in this household and you can be kicked out just as quickly as you were welcomed in I just get so confused when I see these ladies that are using filters, a ton of makeup, drawn on eyebrows, fake eyelashes, and where you can still see the glue at the top of their head for hair that is not theirs. So confidently come on the screen and talk shit about men. <laughs> What's your name? Destiny Mira. What's your best pickup line? You look like you're my destiny. Yeah, that's what I'm on. Oh. That was ass. your destiny? Maybe, potentially. It's possible, baby girl. Maybe. I don't know. I honestly believe his destiny is trash because how will you say she looks like your destiny? It, it sounds weird. First of all, you're definitely a single woman because yes. you got the single woman tell. That damn smoke detector. Mm hmm. How do you live with that? Um, the way that I've been living with just being a single woman is. No, like no, 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 no. Specifically. The smoke detector that keeps chirping. How oh. do you live with that? Can you just elaborate more on like the what, what do you mean by the smoke? It detector? It, it keeps going beep. Like red you, flags. You're, you're, are that you that smoke detector that's beeping in the background. There's a oh. smoke detector. Um. It beeps every thirty seconds and it goes beep. I don't I don't hear anything beeping. Do, did you just hear it again? Because I don't hear anything. Wait for it. Told you guys, they, they don't hear it after a while. <laughs> <laughs> there it was. Boys, you need to stop being so fucking available. Today, I'm going to tell you why you keep getting rejected. And I'm going to tell you the things that girls don't want you to know. First and foremost, girls aren't going for sex. And you know what? It is really sad that if you treat a girl right, she's still going to go to the guy that doesn't. But as a girl, I can't even tell you how many times I've heard another woman say, mm, I really like him, but like, he's just too nice. Too nice? It's the sad truth, but girls in our generation see guys that are overly nice from the get-go as weaker. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. The truth is that girls want strong men, and if you want to be a simp, like, I really think... You really can pull anybody because a woman won't value your words and you won't have authority over her. I'm not trying to say as a man you should like be a dictator or anything like that, but you should be a leader and a woman always want to be with someone who can lead her. So Do you think men and women can just be friends? Are one of them gay? No, straight guys only. No. <laughs> I, I I really don't think so. This
Well, um, Tension? Yeah, it's too, it's too strong. I, I think it's possible. But. I also say this, I think girls can, mm -hmm. but like guys, they can't. Like yeah. girls, we like we can do oh, it. Oh, we can have a guy we're friend. We're chill. We're, like, we're like, friends. We're, like we can do like, it. But like, you know but what I mean? guys. Keep telling yourself that, darling. I know there's a saying that, that it's a numbers game, but there's also a saying that says stay in your lane. And I just feel like some of the creatures that come up to me with the confidence they have, I mean, a man really came up to me at the gas station and said, you caught my eye. How about we close him? Keep him, keep him sealed tight. Shut, actually. Because I'm not, I'm here to fill up my gas. Shut your f***ing mouth. If you don't want to get approached by men, stay in your house, lock your door, close your curtains, and don't come online. Just hide yourself from the world because there's no way you can be attractive and come outside of your house and expect no man to talk to you. Like, it's literally trash. Like Super quick and simple. Okay. Are you natural or not? Am I natural or not? That's for you guys to find out. <laughs> <laughs> so just guess. Huh? Take a wild guess. For the audience. What? Like they're they're gonna have to guess whether you're natural or not. Oh, they have to guess. I don't I'm, I don't know what they're gonna say. Well, unless you tell them. No, I'm I'm not. I'm natural. You're natural. Yeah. Lifetime natural. Yes. How do you think I keep my face? <laughs> so lifetime natural. And what division do you compete in? Bodybuilding. Okay. So men or sorry, women's bodybuilding. Yes. Okay. Stop the cap. Guys, there's nothing natural about this video. They are both on something, like. Now, if you're not sure, you won't. There's nothing natural about the video, bro. The talk is I cheated on my ex. So, we were just really young. We dated since high school. We realized that we had very different love languages. And then I was just always constantly searching that in other people. Yeah, like I messed up and then I hurt him a lot because I'm also his first girlfriend and everything. So, like, everything, like, really came crashing down hard. How did you find out? It was like a friend that we hung out with in a group for I think like about three years or so. She talked to him and he talked to her behind my back. The girl that was with that guy at that time, I found out from her because she sent me messages that they deleted from each other. It hurt uh, like really, really, really bad because uh, I'm, I'm a guy of respect, you know, and that's kind of disrespecting me. And you were in love with her. Yeah. Was I mean she was my first and then I thought she was my last too. What was it that made you want to cheat? I don't know. Like I always told him when we started being together, I was like, I hate cheaters. I got cheated on before too. I think it's just more environmental factors, like how I am with my family. Like I'm just like this perfect person. And then I think I always wanted to like self destruct, self sabotage. But he was like literally everything I ever had. Like he was the best person, best boyfriend. He treated me right. Like our love language was very different, but like I mean he loved me and I know that he loved me. But then I don't know what happened, and I like that's my biggest regret. After the cheating, that's not make it work, you know. But it was still in my mind and back of my mind. The trust was gone. The next prompt is since our separation, I've been with someone who's better in bed. So Jen, after the breakup, yeah. there's someone else who's better. So like when I was with him, like that's the best I ever had. But then like when we broke up, like I was with someone that like really loved me, like really like just gave me everything. Like in the short amount of time that like for eight years I actually didn't deal with him. So that's why I think that love their sex was better in the sense that it was like love. And I think that's why I was missing from him was like I couldn't receive love the way that he gave. Did you feel that makes you give your love? I, I thought I gave my all, one hundred percent of it. Because that's all I knew. So I I gave my own. This this is the most saddest video I've seen. Like that guy is a Donuts because this this you broke the guy You cheated on him and now You say you've gotten something better. Like how do you want him to feel? Men take a lot a woman won't take this like I'm telling you the truth a woman won't take this she will lash out and You can see the tears in his eyes and he's trying to control his feeling but like this this is a lot Nah, this this is a lot that woman, she belongs to the streets.